I want you to put yourself in my shoes. As a content creator, both on and off YouTube, what would you imagine is my single biggest priority when recording or live streaming footage of Minecraft? Well, aside from the video being high quality and high resolution, it's imperative that I have a rock solid frame rate to boot. Now, I don't think I need to explain the importance of a good frame rate to you. See the differences here? Yeah. It's important. So what is this video about? Well, today I want to tell you about a problem that I was experiencing within Minecraft since the middle of August. The problem that I was experiencing involved me not only having a dramatically lower frame rate than I should have been getting, but another issue that completely prevented me from playing Minecraft competitively. And that was a mouse acceleration issue that meant whenever I would move my camera around, my camera would swing at completely erratic speeds. As you can imagine, trying to deal damage during an intense PvP battle with not only the mouse acceleration issues, but also an awful frame rate to boot, I was furious. And all of this came to a head on November 16th, 2019, during a team-based livestream event that involved PvP. And I couldn't play. I couldn't be competitive. I needed to fix this. I needed to know why this was happening. So let's go on the journey together as to how I fixed the most infuriating, most frustrating problem that I have ever had with Minecraft. This video is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. So where did all of this begin? Well, first off, I need to give you some backstory, and don't worry, I'll keep the technical details to a minimum. So, for those of you who are unaware, occasionally, I'll livestream random adventures in Minecraft on my Twitch.tv page, whether it be SMP Live, the new SMP Earth, team-based events, or other things like that, and I've been streaming fairly consistently since March of this year. At the time anyways, I wasn't having any problems at all. So then why, in August of this year, did I suddenly start having all kinds of problems? I mean, none of the core hardware within my system changed at all between that time. Same CPU, same GPU, same RAM, same everything. Well, almost everything. In the middle of August, I reinstalled the Windows operating system fresh on my computer. I did this because I swapped out a pair of old 3 terabyte storage hard drives that I store my videos on for a pair of 10 terabyte storage hard drives. But again, everything else remained exactly the same. Why would this, of all things, cause the problems that I previously described? Well, it's time to tackle this issue. So let's break this issue down. Bad frame rate and mouse acceleration issues. Why? Well, there's two schools of thought that I was focused on first that will focus on first. One, are there any settings within Windows that would cause this problem? And two, what programs are open that might be causing this problem as well? Well, first off, there is an option for mouse acceleration within Windows, but I already had that option turned off. If you game on a Windows computer, make sure that you turn this option off too. So next, what programs are open that might be causing this issue? I'm going to keep this bit short and sweet, but after hours and even days of research, I ultimately thought I had pinned the problem down to at least one of two different programs. The first was my keyboard's lighting software, IQ. I don't need that program, so I disabled it. And while that did help with some of my frame stutter issues, specifically an issue where Minecraft sort of skipped a beat once every second, the larger issue was still there. So next, OBS, or Open Broadcast Software. Diagnosing the potential issues here, though, was much, much more difficult. I use open broadcast software to live stream everything that I stream, and it's an absolute monster of a program. It does everything. It streams my gameplay, records my gameplay locally, allows me to display alerts for things like donations and subscriptions, and everything in between. I need this program. No other streaming software comes even remotely close in my book, and yes, I know what other options are out there. Because my instance of OBS is jam-packed, I'll 
albeit in an incredibly organized fashion, with plugins, scenes, capture sources, and everything else, how do we even know if OBS or some part of OBS is the problem here? Easy, run an instance of OBS with absolutely nothing loaded and see if Minecraft still lags. And it does, pretty much just as much. And because Minecraft largely does not lag with OBS closed, that seemed like a pretty open and shut case, right? OBS is clearly the problem. Well, for months, I thought that too and accepted it. At least up until about a week ago. On November 16th, I took part in an event simply called Minecraft Saturdays. It's a team-based event where a bunch of two-player teams go head-to-head -head in a series of mini-games to see who ultimately comes out on top after nine games. I was paired with fellow SMP Live member Sneagsnag, and I really wanted to give it my all. The event required that we use the Bad Lion client to play the game. Not a problem, but we were also playing in Minecraft version 1.8.9. Again, not a problem, but the moment I fired up the game with the OBS software closed, I noticed a lot of problems were happening. Remember the mouse acceleration issue that I mentioned previously? Well, that never really started happening until right this moment. My first thought was the Bad Lion client was somehow at fault, but that one's also easy to try out. Just fire up Minecraft 1.8.9 without the Bad Lion client and see what happens. But the issue persisted. So seriously, what is going on here? I have a computer that is so fantastically overkill for playing this silly little block game, and yet I'm getting this? Well, after I gave a disappointing performance in Minecraft Saturdays, I knew once and for all, I had to fix this stupid issue. So what did I do? Well, I can't remember where or when I heard this, but I was alerted to the possibility that Minecraft changed how it reads mouse inputs somewhere around Minecraft 1.13. This would explain why I wasn't experiencing the mouse acceleration issue before, since the last time I needed to use a version prior to 1.13 was in July of this year for Minecraft Mondays. Remember, this issue started in August and I only noticed it on the 16th. So I had a lead. Within Minecraft Snapshot 17W43A, one of the game's internal libraries, LWJGL, updated from version two to version three. And sure enough, this is the exact snapshot where the mouse acceleration issues stop happening. Combined with my new knowledge of the problem, I began searching, googling such things as Minecraft acceleration issue, Minecraft mouse speed, and things of that nature. And within a couple of minutes, I stumbled across the answer. In December of 2017, WolfLeader116 made a post on the Minecraft forum that outlined my exact issue, and he even had videos of the problem. Everything was an exact match, and what they found was the mouse acceleration and frame rate issues were caused by a rather weird but very simple problem. Long story short, both your mouse and keyboard have a setting called their polling rate, which dictates how often that piece of hardware tells your system what it's doing. My mouse, being a gaming mouse, has a very high default polling rate of 1000 Hz, which means it's telling the system what it's doing 1000 times per second. And apparently, this is way too high for Minecraft. Maybe not too high for everyone, but for me, where I have over 15 devices plugged into my computer, yeah, apparently it's just too much. Thankfully, within my mouse's software, I can lower the polling rate of the mouse all the way down to 125 hertz. And yes, I still do run into some issues at 250 hertz, but as soon as I made that change, all of my problems disappeared. Minecraft lagging with OBS open, gone. Mostly all of my frame rate issues in all versions of the game, gone. Mouse acceleration issues, gone. While yes, the tech savvy among you might think 125 hertz is a little bit low for my polling rate, considering my primary display is 165 hertz, I ask you this. 
What would you rather have? Butter smooth frame rates and extremely predictable mouse behavior or choppy frame rates and unpredictable mouse behavior? I'll choose the first option. And that is how I fixed the most annoying problem that I have ever had with Minecraft. The reason why I didn't encounter this issue before August is, well, I'm not entirely sure, but my best guess is that at some point during the years prior, I actually already had changed the polling rate of my mouse, but didn't remember that I had done so, and that setting reset when I reinstalled the Windows operating system. So, yeah. The problem is solved. Before I roll the outro, however, a message from MC Pro Hosting. If you're looking to get a Minecraft server of your very own, you can get 25% off of your first month using the link in the description down below. Introducing the new Enderman and Wither plans from MC Pro Hosting. Huh? The Enderman plan has 6 gigabytes of RAM, which allows you to play with up to 100 players. It also includes the premium server management pack. And the Wither plan has 8 gigabytes of RAM, which allows you to play with an unlimited amount of players. It also includes the ultimate server management pack. What? But what about the villager plan? Yeah! I thought we were the only ones! Uh, oh, uh, I mean, welcome to the club? The Enderman and Wither plans from MC Pro Hosting. Get them now. And the villager plan. Which plan too? <laughs> I really like well, the yeah, you have three heads. Head. Head. It's head. really dashing. You know, I'll feel your head. Almost Very head. dashing. No. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.